Welcome to How to Become a Production SQL Database Administrator. My name is Raphael. In the previous video, we looked at how to take a full database backup, how to take a differential backup, and how to take a transactional log backup. And we looked at all the importance of why, when, where, and how you should take a uh, database backup. In this next series of videos, we're going to look at the restore process. And that is that once we've taken a full database backup or differential and or a uh, transactional, how can we restore that so if we, in a case of disaster, we can recover the data as much as we can. So let's go. So before I begin, I'm just going to illustrate quickly what happens during um, the daily activities of a company, for example. So let's say, for example, day one, you have uh, one insert, two insert, three insert, four insert, and five insert. So this is the daily activity. Uh, that's occurring on day one, and it's obviously being recorded in the transactional log file. So obviously, in order to safeguard the data for the day one and all the activity happens, the best way to do it is to take a full database backup at the end of the day. And so we do that. So we take a full database backup on day one. And at the end of the day, we have five inserts. And if we were to have a crash here, then obviously, uh, we can restore the database and we can re regain all the data from one through five because we have a full database back backup and we there is no more activity after the full database backup. Now, what happens when day two comes? So day two comes and there's more activity going on against the database. So we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and more database activities going on. So at the end of the day, we take a another full database backup. database backup. So at this point, what this the full database backup did is take all the data from 1 through 10. And if there's no activity after that, then if the database were to crash, then we can restore the database using restore files, and we can regain all the data from up to 1 to 10. Wonderful. So now day 3 happens, and day 3 happens, and now we have more activity going again. And we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. So obviously, we can continuously taking, uh, take full database backups, but that wouldn't be feasible as they get quite large. So what we need to do is take a what's called a transactional log backup. And we've mentioned what a transactional log backup is. That is all the recording all the modifications and changes to the database since the last full database backup. So in this case, we have this is the last full backup. And now the transactional log backup, let's call that a backup, has recorded all these activities since the entire database backup. And this last full backup has cumulative information from 1 through 10. So now if the database were to crash, let's say in the 5 o'clock in the evening, and we want to restore it, then we have to take this full database backup, which has 1 through 10 information. And we need to take this one transactional log backup that we did at the end of the day. And that has information 11 through 15. And when we restore both of these, a transactional log, tra uh, the full database and the transactional log backups, we'll re regain the database backup 1 through 15. And all is great. And we haven't lost any data. So now we understand that. Let's understand what, how to restore that, and we're going to be going. I'm going to be illustrating uh, how to restore the database, database using both the GUI as we always have, and then I'm going to be illustrating another video how to look at uh, restoring a database using the transactional sequence. So I think I'm going to leave it here, and we'll continue with the next video of how to restore a database backup. But I just wanted you to quickly understand this and refresh your mind. Uh, before we get into the restore process. So remember, the restore process, uh, we must have a full database backup, must have a full database note in order to be able to restore something. We can't have, well, obviously you can't have a transaction log without backups, and you can't have a differential log backup without a full database. So you must have, this is the first requisite of a restore. And then any other backups that we've done, we must have those also, whether it's a differential or, or a transactional log. 
So this gives you a quick synopsis of how to restore a database backup. And I'm going to go into, as I said, the GUI in the next illustration. So I'll leave that here right now and we'll pick up the um, restore process in the next video. So my name is Raphael and this is how to become a production SQL database administrator.